What's going on guys and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Believe it or not, I'm recording this two to maybe three weeks after the previous Cyberpunk video, which only come out a couple of days for you over on YouTube, which was like episode 30, where we just kind of got all through all this craziness of meeting the president, uh, uh, Yumi, was was she called? Yelmi, Yumi. Uh, and we've still not come across uh, what's his face as well. So it's been a good few weeks. I had Cyberpunk videos backed locked in my YouTube schedule out of the bloody wazoo. It was it was crazy. But we are back in. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon or evening. Uh, and we are back to getting some, uh, well, Cyberpunk recorded. So let's continue on here. Um, I'm going to be a bit rusty because we've been covering a lot of other content during the time all of this was pre-planned and scheduled. So um, let's go this way. Let's try this way. Looks promising. Cameras here? Henson's a military man. He loves control. Hates blind spots. Hates blind spots. Right. But remember, I've got my knives, I've got me mantis blades, I've got my stimulants, and slow motion. Gotta see these balls in here. Should plug that. Look for a valve. For a valve? Behind you. Can I even get over there? In there? Hello? I've got the double jump. Aha, here we go. Found it. There we go. There's been a couple of patches since we last time we played as well, so... I, I honestly don't know what it was. Probably just like fixes regarding Liberty City and... Liberty City? Phantom Liberty. I totally forgot how good this game was looking. Oh, what's going on? Looks like a control room. Hmm. Cactus juice. Let's be real, what kind of person was Elizabeth Cress? Does she really deserve monuments or streets named after her? Elizabeth Cress uh, Street near the confines of Night City is a twisted joke. Once again, at 1% tries to shove Noosa slash Militech propaganda down our throats and force us to swallow it. It's a lie perpetrated by the elites in the effort to evoke illusionary patriotic sentiment. This is not enough to whitewash history. Not enough to make us forget the ruins of which Night City was built. The red cloud of devastation hanging over the continent. The rain thick as blood. By building this district, by building Crest Street, this is what we see. Not a president of the people, but the violence that her name recalls. Violence and scorched earth, nuclear devastation, the red decades. This is a little bit open right now. Elizabeth Crest Street. Bullheaded Betty, that's what we called her. Re-elected nine times. Can you believe it? She must have had her ass welded to that scene. I can believe it. Funny how she has her own street in Night City. Whoa. Places. That jealousy I'm detecting? Please. Jealous of what? 
So since I tell you what, so since last time we I played, there's been about 20, 20 plus videos. And obviously I've seen a lot of your guys' comments. Bits, you're not searching. You totally forgot about Nakamura when I when I killed him. I saw you guys' comments. I appreciate them. But I couldn't do anything about them in the future episodes because they was already pre-recorded like weeks in advance. Uh, but yes, my looting skills are not the best. I don't look around as much. And it's like that with every bloody game. So have a hand fan. All right. Uh oh, not now. V, are you? Uh, one sec. It'll pass. Oh. See, better already. What's the matter? Are you hurt? It's nothing, really. V, please. I have a highly honed nose for bullshit. <laughs> uh. Got a experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me, literally. Somi says she might have a solution. Somi. Wait. Somi. You're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. Mm -hmm. A secretive tech someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. It also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. Seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive. Right. But yeah, um, I'm loving this game. Um, it's just too bad, obviously, I didn't get some videos recorded after the 30th episode, which was the previous episode. Uh, but we're here now, and uh, we are going to be pushing into, what, November with this series. So, And we are going to complete the full game. Um, we've still got to go back to Night City and go back to that building that we couldn't... Because there was no point to return, wasn't there? Expecting more trouble? Tonight, I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us, safe. Uh, got a white trap. Great place for an ambush. Oh God. Hopefully, no one else thinks so. Who are we killing? Got my revolver. Is this the place? I'll cover you. On three. I've got to scan. I thought you just had to. Oh, you did scan it. Can I go up to this and do anything with it? Hmm. Oh, now it goes. One, two. Uh oh. Ooh. Pitch fucking black. You got a finger Where torch? You sell me. Huh. Guess we got here first. Seems so. I'll have to sit tight. Though I assume I'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. Let me guess, you want me to find also it? also get the radio up and running. What? Can't miss our daily dose of fear mongering? We need to know the situation on the ground. I want to change out of this mess. High time. Have a look around. I'll join you in a minute. Who's, who's been sleeping here? <clears throat> Someone check this. Beat. Bloody hell! Attempted postmodern art. Maybe jump. I'm not gonna lie to you. More like a home cooked generator. Maybe we kickstarted, literally. Uh huh. Ugh, 
shit. Thing needs a little go-go juice to wake up. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us... Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? Um... No, I, I, I agree. Makes two of us. Gig's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panaceum, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Mm. Myers, shady politico, got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by and why? Fuck if we know. Oh, plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. Huh. Saying Songbird didn't give us the full picture. Our mystery girl. Usually love a bit of hard to get, but trust me. Rarely ends well. Well, not like we had time to really chat. Spent most of it running. SF1, run, Chimera, run again. It's just... Nah. Got some questions for the chick. Hope we get a chance to ask him. Anyway, let's get this power sitch sorted. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, I don't- I'm not- I'm not full- fully trusting Songbird just yet. But just so you, for you guys know, if you're watching this over on YouTube, obviously, uh, I'm still doing the marathon stream, so I am recording this live. Um, we are now going on to, like, the second month uh, of the live stream, um, which is crazy. I've been streaming, like, every day. Um, what's this? So we kind of need to get this up. Nothing in here. We need a battery. Still find it crazy how we have all these techs, but Nobody has a torch. Do the trick by my eye. In you go. Fire it up. Fingers crossed. And the maze balls. Nice. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. <laughs> she got changed as well. You earned it. Booze. This is a good time. Let's see. Today I survived a Delta crash, a district wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes, it's a great fucking time. You look great. Right? Should draw less attention, too. So we're in a big white thingy. Just earned yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? <sighs> Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. Mm -hmm. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed. Isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. 
I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Ninth City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. So Hansen decided to wave a classic false flag. So doubt, reap apprehension awards, any NUSA attempt to get you back. Both ends fight in the middle. Well, you sure know how to cheer people up. <laughs> Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. Gotta let Washington know you're alive, ASAP. Ah, call Washington without knowing whole answer, friend or foe. Or should I go outside? Give Hanson snipers a big thumbs up. No, V. Neither's an option. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird? Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Chumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. And lights mm. that work. Huh. This doesn't feel right. None never does with you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. I'll be damned. Fuck this. Out, let's go. Move it. Let's begin. Get ready. They could have been friendly. They didn't leave me a choice, whoever they were. They could have possibly helped us, I just didn't respond. Deluding yourself come naturally? Years of practice. The bodies. We really should do something. I saw a shoot in the hallway. If I would have maybe spoke to them there, they could have been, uh, they could have helped us somehow. Randomly stick them in the chute. Another problem solved. Don't know about you, but I've about had it with today. Tomorrow will come quickly. I need to rest. Here? What if more like them show up? That shoot's not going anywhere. You serious? <laughs> come on. I think I've had my fill of surprises. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. Are they still over at the crash? I'm, I'm troubled. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, V. Is she gonna be here? Because she's not in bed. Oh, she's here. Good morning. She's not here. Means she's not coming. 
Um... You've seen the swarms Henson has out hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could I still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, I know we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? <laughs> Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. There gotta be a way. Let me think. Know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one Out to... of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Gotta talk backup plan. Not a plan. A man. The kind we need. Who? Solomon Reed's the name. Ooh. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and Somi were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. But as we know from the trailer of Phantom Liberty, Somi is the one that betrayed Solomon Reed, who is Idris Elba, into why didn't he launch the missile at the presidential ship? Hence the reason she's here. Seven years undercover. Guy sounds like a true asset. Used to be with Arasaka once upon a time. Counter intel. Maybe. Never saw any read on file. Above your pay grade, maybe. Consider that. Maybe I was too busy getting my hands wet and dirty. So, that's a yes. Go back, up your clearance, and check again. Just might. One day. Don't mention it to Reed. I don't need you in a body bag. Another one with an eternal grudge against Arasaka? Reed has good reasons. How do I find your guy? Guessing I can't just buzz him on his work hollow. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. What now? <laughs> don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. That crash tear open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. 0931. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Uh-huh, so what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? the file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. <laughs> That's right. But taking the oath makes it feel <clears throat> more real. Ta-da! Seems we're on the same side. Can't hurt. Oh, V. Repeat after me. I pledge allegiance. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. IV, do hereby <laughs> solemnly swear <laughs> to faithfully serve the new United States of America. Fucking pathetic. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I didn't even remember I any of that. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. 
On behalf of all NUS citizens, I thank you. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. All right. We are now a special agent of NUSA. Head to Captain Caliente Restaurant. So if you think about it, that right there, what we've just done, was the whole intro to Phantom Liberty. You know, taking that oath, bad idea. Oh, yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Because with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once at Corpo Jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. <laughs> but can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Forget it. You were just do a chewing out. <laughs> oh, Johnny's great. I'm looking forward to meeting Idris Edg as well. I want to see what his because one Idris Elba is a fantastic actor as well. So I want to see what he's gonna be like. I uh, I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed. Huh. That smoke mean dog town chose a new pope. Me, oh, this the deep crash space force too. Curious as I am. We got an important call to make. Randy says hi. Hey, we just wanted to update you on Randy. He's slowly easing back into things. It's hard to believe, but it looks uh, going to be all right. Can't imagine. I'm sending you. Uh... Oh yeah, that's the hospital. Oh, Randy was the um, the guy that was uh, kidnapped, wasn't it? And had that big massive. Tube down his throat from that like serial killer uh, quest line we did. Yeah. My ride. My ride. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I just want to discover things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm recording uh, YouTube runner. All right, so. Oh, Mr. Oh, God, Mr. Hans is calling. Hey, in Dogtown, are you? Yep. Well, I've but one word of advice caution. Hans? <laughs> Sheesh. What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart. Where the real deals are done. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breach Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon. All right. Well, there was Mr. Hans. Oh, the restaurant's over here. Wait, he's calling again? V, there's a rare river dock who works pro bono. Anderson. Were it not for his clinic on Montana de Oro, Dogtown's poor and unfortunate would have nowhere to turn. And so it happened. Scavenger struck. It appears they've an issue with Anderson himself. The good doctor shut his office, lost access to all comms. His man, Odell Blanco, awaits you at the clinic. Discuss the matter with him. What do you need, boss? Dr. Anderson's to remain unscathed. Okay, so a ripper dock. Here's the Caliente. Gig objective rescue Anthony. So we've got a side quest there from Mr. Hans. 
Um. I couldn't do any of them to get in, could I? No. Hey. Capitan Caliente. Closed? Shut and boarded. I want to talk shit about Kurt. Mad disrespect. Had no choice. Hanged itself out back. Ah. Hey, you a fresh face, so listen up. <clears throat> Here in D-Town, you watch what you say. Talk shit to the wrong chew. Blam. You're dead. You're dead. Man of biz you are, so let's cut a deal. I slip you a few heads. You tell me how to slip inside. You paying for trouble. But okay. Don't ever bail on Eddie's, huh? <laughs> the new <clears throat> owners? They're draining power from down the road. Check the cables on the wall. Yeah. Be sure to connect somewhere. Tink around, reset the power. I was literally just about Security to fall on power cables as well. Dark. Sounds promising. Let's see what you got. Premiest shit you ever seen. What is it? Cigarettes, junk, cell builders, a protein log. It's like a shit in a thing. Oh, Judy's calling. Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? I got good days, got bad days. Same as ever. You, uh, call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Oh, yeah? Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. But now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So... This particular mission don't require you to have no gun, just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I am intrigued. Why the wetsuit? Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. You really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay. Uh, is this a date? <laughs> You're not my type, Holmes. Just show up. True. I'll see you there. I think that's a thing we can collect over there. So we might have to head over there in a minute and see what it is. Because whatever it is, it's after my attention. And it does look like a, ki a case. Let me see if I can head over there now, actually. Please hold! Should be able to climb this. If I don't keep falling. Is it down below me by one? Huh. Yeah, drone crashed. Baseball bat. Use it. I need my throwing knives. Those little shotguns. It's like we need to go and sell these because I feel like I'm going to T5.
Uh, oh, crap. Ow. Hey, everybody. What up? <laughs> Everything is fine. I'm like, I'm on Skid Row. Came to Dogtown for her. Turns out she's here chasing her ex. Oh, here we go. Place to sell. There was stuff we don't need. To be honest, we can get rid of majority of it all. That'll do. <clears throat> right, let's go and head up into the uh, El Caliente. Or Cal Caliente. Now that we've turned the powers off, we'll probably speak to the other owners. Because we only need to get access to the uh, analog, right? So we can uh, speak to Solomon. Oh. Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down at this place. Stash house, by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Euro dollars. A certain corporal entered the net one night and suddenly everything glitched and encountered a red demon who said, Tomorrow at midnight you'll be dead. The corporal did not place any faith in the threat and slept soundly and after leaving the net, the next day he went to work. What is that sound? Oh my god, this is a lot of bloody... What is that sound? It sounds like a glitching sound, but not like a, an intentional knocking kind of thing. Take what we need. Is that new pants? Some new pa uh shorts. Sexy. <laughs> I'm guessing I can move that out of the way if I was I had the strength on the opposite side. I thought it might have been this. There is something else over here we can scan, but... Huh. Ah, the cable. Huh. What's this? There we go. Antique. Junkie variety. wonder if it even works. Cheeseburg while you're at it. <laughs> Reed? Listen, got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? 
Oh. Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Wait. Can I call these numbers? Two, three, seven, seven. Is the witch is the Witcher theme June? Mm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right. Well, we need to head to this basketball court. Fast prices in Dogtown. So we can go Sorry see Solomon Reed. Resale. I'll be damned. Real live customer. What can I get? You? Let's get in here. Driving at the basketball court. And this is where Solomon Reed told us told us to meet him. Dunno, man. The fuck Hanson got against a plane. Had a bad day and wham, shoot that shit down. We could be sat here for a while, to be honest. Best seats in the house. Oh. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You know what I mean. You believe that? Another game started. One where your head's the fucking ball. Better. My input loves it. He always said we could use another. Felt the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing. Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Trust in a deserter. Kinda contradictory, don't you think? If you're gonna book out of the army, you gotta be honest. Admit you made a mistake. And that, dare I say it, takes fucking guts. Desertion is bravery. Now that's Johnny speak, if I ever heard it. Maybe a little. Sue me. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. <laughs> Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. Gotta face your demons sometimes, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes nope. on the court. Uh, I recognize that voice. What you holding? Got this token. Mean anything to you? 
I need to make sure. Keeps his cards uh -huh. close, this one. Who sent you? <sighs> Idris Elba is tickling my right ear right now. Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. Got a pro spy here, V. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Nope, nah. -uh. Don't do that. Just don't. So then. Doubt I was tailed. So you didn't, Jim. I see you still got a ways to go. We'll work with what we got. Black Thor and Merriman on the street. Three minutes. Front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. He's already Don't gone. Don't want to be caught holding hands. Reed. Slippery motherfucker. <laughs> He's already gone. Though. I think we really hit it off. <laughs> sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Where were you when it crashed? The Black Thornton. Blackthorn. Fuck me! This is ominous. Jesus! God, he already looks like a badass. I really want him to be the next James Bond. Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever risk so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Troon's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Security measures, precautions. Thought the token would have done the job. Could be fake. Simply counterfeit. Counterfeiting a person is a lot harder. You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. Actually, I am, though just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Arisak and counterintelligence, terminated for undisclosed reasons. Now, a freelance merc, working for the FIA as of last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? Saw me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. The thing is, we don't know who to trust. We don't know alone. if he's playing down. a good guy or a bad guy. Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Hmm. Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in downtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing.
FIA special agent, bouncing away time at a club. The job attracts ex-cops and commandos too. I know a few. They're a tough bunch. Trouble. Easy to blend in with over beers. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? Snitches get stitches, man. So that'll be a yes. Not good. When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. Can I please change the radio from this classical thing? Where are we? Let's go. So this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way. Oh, who are these guys? Honestly? This is not inspiring confidence. <laughs> She's capable of taking care of herself, you know. I actually had uninvited guests last night. Ejected via the garbage chute. Sometimes that's the only way out. The thing is, like, is she going to be safe when we go up here? Is she even going to be here? If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Open up, it's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you alright? I'm good. Glad to see you are too. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The president, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? An hallucination. You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hanson, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she acted. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... 
bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has Myers told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arisaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. <laughs> huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough to get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi and my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Some things are more important than Eddie's, Reed. That we agree on. We all got our reasons. Mine's even got a name. The Relic. If I don't find so me, I'm literally a dead man. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Hmm. Agreed. Think so, too. <clears throat> Who can we trust, though? If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Yeah, I'm, uh... Thanks. For everything. Stay safe. And don't let the bastards get you. Same to you, V. May we meet again in more favorable circumstances. All right, I need to make some calls. I do feel like this storyline, this story arc is gonna, um... Is gonna pit mm, Solomon Reed. We saw me against each other, and we have to choose who, maybe. But we met him, and uh, the acting is even better than what I thought it was gonna be.